Welcome back, crafty people. Today is the second installment of our Feature Friday series where I feature a small YouTube channel and you all go over there and make their channels explode. So last week I featured Inky Owl Studio and I am happy to report that Jeannie is now over 1,000 subbies. So I just gotta say, you guys rock. <laughs> So let's get to today's Feature Friday. Make sure you stick around to the very, very end because I'm going to tell you how you can win another giveaway. So today's Feature Friday is, drum roll, <laughs> Dee Dee Farrago. Let me see if I can get that to come into focus so you can see how it's spelled. Maybe, maybe not. There we go. 489 subscribers is what Dee Dee has um, and she should have she should have a lot more than that because her channel is awesome um, Dee Dee was referred to me this week by a very dear friend of mine and I am so glad that she um, referred uh, the channel because um, Dee Dee's channel is amazing um, in fact when I was trying to choose a project to show you guys today from from Dee Dee's channel I was just, I was so overwhelmed um, by how much she had to choose from on her channel. Um, I mean, she's got loads and loads and loads of videos and, um, and her channel is relatively new. She's not been around on YouTube for um, even a year yet, I believe, around 10 months, I think, was when her first video was put up and, um, and she's got tons of videos on there. Um, she's got a lot of start to finish projects where she works on a on a project like a design team project or another project and she does it start to finish on camera um, which is um, really helpful and uh, she has tutorials she's got some flip throughs um, happy mails and then on um, certain Fridays she even features an Etsy shop on there um, so she's got a ton of stuff to choose from on there so for today's feature <clears throat> excuse me I chose a little loaded envelope booklet <laughs> from our channel now you guys know how much I love envelope projects um, so I chose this off of her list of videos um, well partially because I love envelope projects but another reason was to be honest I procrastinated I just had a very hard time choosing who I wanted to feature. There's so many great channels out there and I procrastinated and um, so I needed something I could put together quickly. So Dee Dee mentions in her video uh, for this that this is not her original idea and she, like the lovely person that she is, um, gave credit to the original um, designer and uh, you can check that out on, on Dee Dee's channel. Um, so that's really great. She gave credit to who inspired her to make this. Um, it is a loaded envelope booklet um, that she was using to do like an envelope swap. Let's see if I can make room for all this. I may have to zoom us out just a hair. Let's try that. Um, she was loading it up and doing it for a swap um, in a group, I think. Um, so. It, I just loved it. I used a Tim Holtz paper to decorate and I didn't do a lot of um, embellishing on it. I mostly just put on some labels. In fact, I think that's all I did besides this little button um, because it's Tim Holtz paper and you know, you don't, you don't need a lot of embellishing for that. So um, I will choose someone just like last time to um, win this. Um, let's go through what's in it real quick. Let's, let me start at the front. Okay, so there's the front. Okay, and then in this pocket here, I put in some blank tags for you. There is a library pocket and card, a Tim Holtz card. Okay, then this flips open. And in this pocket here, I have, this is a sheet of music paper. It is very brittle because it's very old. It's from the late, 1800s, um, very early 1900s. I think it was 1897 to 1902, somewhere around there. <clears throat> so it's great for collaging, but it's hard to put it inside of a journal unless you put some washi tape or something on the 
spine because it is brittle. There's some Tim Holtz uh, cards here. And then I made this little booklet. And inside of it is some fussy cuts that I did. Some um, birds, flowers. Um, uh, let's see, there's a dragonfly. Yeah, I'm not going to go through them all. And so there's some fussy cuts in there for you in that little pocket pouch. And then in this pocket, there are a couple of um, sheets from a planner from 1962. These are the originals. I've put in two seed envelopes with windows. These are fun for um, embellishing. I put in some dictionary pages from, I think this dictionary was from the late 1930s or 40s, um, but I made sure that the pages had uh, flowers and birds um, on the ones that I included. And then in this pocket, I have two more seed envelopes. These do not have the windows. Two of these little heart doilies, two of these little round doilies, and a couple of pages from a gardening book. Um, I think this one was from the 60s, if I remember correctly. It is also a little bit brittle because it um, didn't age extremely well, so it's good for collaging. And then on the back side, I have a couple of Tim Holtz cards here. And a little craft bag. And inside of it, I have a couple of tags and some hole reinforcers and that I've already um, inked up for you to use with your other tags. So, and then if you notice um, the paper, I tried to make it so it looked continuous. So, kind of neat. It was a fun little project and I put that together just last night. Um, so, go over to Dee Dee's channel. Here's the goal. Dee Dee is at, let me look again. Dee Dee is at 489 subscribers, 489. So our goal this time is going to be 1,000. Now that sounds like a lot, but it should be pretty easy because um, Jean's channel that we did last week, we gained over 700 subbies um, for her. So this time I'm only asking you for another 511 so our goal is not even as big as what we hit last time so it should be easy so let's get Dee Dee up to a thousand um, what I need you to do is leave a comment on the video that I'm linking below and tell Dee Dee that you were sent over there by me and you will be entered to win the um, little loaded envelope I just did open to US or international that's fine Okay, um, the difference is this time, I am going to announce the winner on next week's fe Feature Friday, rather than doing an update video on Monday, okay? So you have until, until I do um, the next Feature Friday, okay? So, um, and, then, and then on the next Feature Friday next week, I will update you on how DD's channel did, okay? All right, rather than doing an additional video. Okay, so head over to DD's channel, subscribe, Let's make her hit a thousand. Leave a comment on the video that I link below and I will get you entered into the drawing. Um, I will also make sure that I link um, Dee Dee's um, Etsy shop because she has an Etsy shop. It is called Two Precocious Dames. Um, and she's got some lovely journals in there and uh, let me tell you, she's got some really great prices on them. So I'll make sure I leave her Etsy link below as well. All right, I think that's it. You guys ready? Because I am. That was really fun last time, so let's go do it again. All right? See you next time. Be well. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.